A Roaring Rescue God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jews to their own country, Babylon. <laughs> Daniel was one of the Jews in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. Mm -hmm. God blessed Daniel, and he became a powerful leader in that country. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel. So they made a new law. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into a lion's den. Darius agreed. <laughs> Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he'd been tricked, but couldn't change the law. Daniel was thrown to the lions. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouths. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. <gasps> At daybreak, Darius went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save him, Daniel said. The king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. <gasps> then King Darius had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions gobbled them up. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. Bye.